Time for a mid-morning break at Ever After High Student Lounge. One at a time. Remember, my enchantments only last till the clock strikes noon. Wish wisely. I wish I looked princely again. Sarah, my volcano won't work. <laughs> Guys, Vera needs time off, too. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. It's not easy being a future fairy godmother, but I do love enchanting. If you enjoy enchanting, then what's bothering you? I've been thinking. I'll never have a fabulous gown myself, or have a ball to go to, or a prince to dance with. I just wish I could make my own wishes come true sometimes. <laughs> But I can't. Oh, that's sadder than an empty teapot. I wish Farrah's wishes would come true. Maddie, you're brilliant. Yay! Wait, I am? Farrah has princessology class now. And I have a plan. Farrah! It's a wish emergency. I need a bunch of streamers for our class presentation. Thanks. Farrah! We forgot to bake two dozen cupcakes for cooking classic. Thank you! I haven't had any wishes yet, if you don't mind. For my best friend forever after? Anything. I wish for the most fabulous glittery gown fit for a princess for you. <laughs> Me? But why? That's what I wish. Oh my! But I don't understand. Might I have this dance? <laughs> so charming. Oh, Ashlyn, this is a wish come true. Thank you so much. If only the clock weren't about to strike noon. Well then, I wish this hour would repeat itself right now. <laughs> excited about Hunter's party, too, but don't you think you're a little overdressed for an outdoor celebration? I wanted to go to Hunter's party, but today is the Faybell formal. Faybell's thing is today. That's what the invitation says. Come celebrate all things Faybell at this enchanting and mandatory event. If you don't come, I'll place a curse on you. Seems fair. I've been looking forward to Hunter's party forever after. Oh, I wish there was a way we could go to both parties. Welcome! Take a moment to look around and find your name cards. At your seat, you'll find a list of fun Faybell facts and topics to help spark conversations about me. Thanks for inviting us, Faybell. This is, um, really something. Oh, we completely forgot the cupcakes. The cupcakes? We made cupcakes. Of Faybell cupcakes with pictures of Faybell. Which is you. Don't worry about it. We have plenty of food here. Nope. Be right back. Totally going to both parties. If we were any smarter, we'd need bigger crowns. Ashley, <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna make it. Hey, girls. Where are you, girls? You're gonna miss the Fabel slideshow. Where have you been? Where are the cupcakes? Um, we ate them. We better go make some more. Party. I am so putting a curse on you! Hey, did you know that they have a carousel at the other party? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Combine the parties! 
Now we just have to figure out which look to wear. Okay, everyone. Mr. Pine Piper, sir. So I compose this enchanted song to make pesky here. Sort these walnuts. <laughs> Cut it out. A spectacular first try at melodic manipulation. Who's next? How about you, Melody? Sure thing, Dad. My song is gonna guide little Mouse Tro here to the cheese at the end of this maze. And now, to mix things up a bit. Turntables? You won't be able to control it. Dad, I can do this. Curses! I really thought that would work. Get everyone dancing in sync. Hmm. Hey, Raven, I think these beats could use a little pick me up. Yay! Heck yeah! Now listen up and let DJ Piper move you. That's it. Now follow me. Hang on to those crowns, because DJ Piper is about to work some magic. Here's a little something for you rebels out there. DJ Piper. Make us move, Melody! <laughs> well played, Melody. A plus. Mighty and biscuits. Nina Thumbbell. I almost stepped on you. <laughs> Not even close. Learn a lot from the little world right underfoot. Learning? Oh, we better skedoodle battle or we'll miss today's fairy field trip. Tulipular. I love exploring. Be right up. I'll race ya. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's going on? Fairy field trip's canceled. And I was so excited to see new places today. I so wish you could shrink down and see the school the way I do. Looks like we get our field trip after all. Raven found one of her mom's magic charms that shrinks, shrinks you down, down if, if you, you touch its gem. gem. <laughs> Fun! Yay! Wow. Look, it worked! Come on, follow me! Let me show you my ever after high. <laughs> <laughs> Just touch it a second time. Oops. How do we reach the charm? Not a problem, peeps. I can grow big or small whenever I want. Of course. I got charmed too when I was big, so I can only get tinier. Let's go! Perfect timing. What? Carry cat treats for him. He loves it. Okay, Rascal, go get the charm. <laughs> this 
charm is too unpredictable. I'm tossing it. Ooh, this looks pretty. Do you see her? She's right up there. Look, oh, I see yeah. her. <laughs> Hello, Beans. No worries, friends. Juliet's got this. Now for the hard part. How can she not be afraid of falling? That's like a mile up! <laughs> Your best time ever! A new record! Tiny, will you get these back to your uncle and thank him for the loan? Hi, Humphrey. Uh, Are you, um, okay? Jillian, you have to teach me how you do it. How to be brave. It's not something you teach. Please, I'll give you these five beans. Magic beans? Uh, no. Regular beans. Good enough. Let's go. Oh. This may take longer than I thought. I can't do heights. I'm too scared. Maybe climbing things isn't your story. You are pretty amazing, too, Humphrey. At the ground level. Don't overthink it. Do it or you don't. Do it. Oh, my crown! Is that Humphrey Dumpty climbing the beanstalk? Oh, no. He's in trouble. I can do it. I can do it. Jump to me! I can't do it! I just can't do it! Humphrey, help me! Julian! Humphrey, you did it! When you thought I needed help, you did it! I'd say you were pretty brave. <laughs> you have a parachute. Yep. That new girl, Michelle. I heard she's shy. We should invite her to come sit with us. Hey, Michelle! Over here! Hi, Michelle. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Wanna see my terrific new talent show trip? <gasps> Whoa! I have to go now. Excuse me. Hey, Michelle. We thought maybe we got off on the wrong slipper, so we brought you this flower for your dorm. It's a snapdragon. Uh, I'm good. I've never met someone so shy before. I'm pretty sure it's my hat. She doesn't like my hat. <gasps> Michelle is a mermaid. Oh, hey! Sorry I ran away before. My legs turn back into my fin when I touch water, and I... I'm just not very confident around people when I'm on land. Well, I knew it! How could anybody not like my hat? Michelle, your voice is so... fairest. You should totally sing in the talent show. In front of everybody? On legs? I, I can't do it. Everyone at school would flip their crown if they heard you sing. I'm sorry. But I can't do it if I'm not in the water. Oh, 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 I just got an idea. Gather however you go ever and ever after high. Royal and rebel, you're more than one. Together however you go ever and ever after high. to be spellbound, and behold, the biggest cup of tea ever after! You know, 
what? This could take a while. How about an encore from Michelle while we wait? Cause it's your life. The Winter Palace at the top of the world. Apple White and Madeline Hatter were on their way to learn all about winter for a class assignment on the seasons. <sighs> So, Maddie, what do we have so far for the report? <laughs> Winter is cold! When Ashlyn Ella found out that Apple and Maddie were researching Winter, well, she insisted that they take a trip to meet her old spellementary school friend. Crystal Winter. <laughs> Apple! Maddie! You're here! And you're freezing. <laughs> wow! You two look frosty fabulous. Come on, I'll show you how we make winter. Forever after, my family and the loyal subjects of our kingdom have been responsible for bringing winter to the land. is thoroughly inspected to ensure that no two are alike. Jackie Frost and Northwind here are on inventory duty. It's so enchantingly fun! Fun? I thought you said inventory was... <laughs> now this way to the throne room. So, when you said this job was fun, were you being sarcastic? Hex, no! We love it! There's counting, there's snowflakes. You can't lose. Say, you don't want to give it a try, do ya? <gasps> You'd let me? Hot-tastic! Let's see. One, after one. One and two. Tea time! Excuse me! <gasps> Could we slow this down, Scoodle? I tell you, Jackie, you're as cold as ice. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> well, it's very nice to make your acquaintance too, Miss White. We're both big fans of your mother. Thank you, Your Majesties. Like Ever After High is in for a stormy afternoon. As a new student, well, an old student, returns to the school. I heard she has actual wolf claws. I heard she howls at the moon. Poor Cerise. It is their destiny to be enemies. What's uh, so exciting? Me. It's Ramona Bad Wolf! Hello, Cerise. I thought I smelled wet dog. Oh, please, Hood. You couldn't find your way out of a paper bag. What's this lollygagging? Move along, or I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow you to class. <laughs> now you girls really need to... Talk to the paw, Dad. <sighs> Miss Hood, are the rumors true that it was your fault that Ramona Bad Wolf was sent away to the Dark Force Reform School? I... no comment. Uh. Ramona, to the headmaster's office. I'll see you after school. You heard it here first. Come see the Hood versus Bad Wolf battle after school. This is ridiculous. I think we can settle our own problems. Agreed. So, you accept my challenge? Ugh, oh, fine. Let's settle this right now. I say no fighting in the halls. Both of you in my classroom, now. Dad! She, she started, started it. Did not, Dad. Cerise is taking this under the hood thing too far. Ooh, mysterious secret. Look at me, I'm a hood. I'm not doing it for me. You are so mean. Girls, muzzle it. You both know how it is. Yeah, yeah. If anyone knew the big bad wolf was married to Little Red... They'd flip their crowns. That's right. So until graduation, our family must remain secret. Now, let's give your audience a real competition. 
You ready for this, sis? Oh, yeah. Justine Dance. The youngest of 12 sisters who all attended Ever After High. But who does not yet know her fairy tale destiny. Ever After to Justine. <laughs> I'm beat. I went to bed early, but I had the most exciting dream. I already have my own dance studio, and I was dancing in all my favorite styles. Let's chit chat more tip tap. Let's practice, ladies. Shoes on. <gasps> My shoes! Ruined! Who did this? Not no. me. Those were your good shoes. A mystery to be solved after my class, Miss Dancer. First position. These are the top of the line from the glass slipper. No shoe thief could resist these beauties. When the thief trips the beam, this series of triggers will go off, and the video cameras will record the crime. Can't fail. Wasted time. You can't rely on tech. Press that button, chew that cord. Won't work. I bet the shoes will get taken. Since when were you a shoe-stealing expert? Oh, yeah. Blame the bad wolf. <laughs> Relax. You and I don't exactly have the same taste. Don't wake her up. Wake who up? What is going on? <sighs> Justine Dancer? It was me all along? But why? How? Enchantments. Your older sisters went through it too. Congratulations! You're the 12th dancing princess. You had to find out for yourself. But now that you know, you begin to control your power. The gift of eternal dance. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry I suspected you, Ramona. Thank you all so much for helping me find my destiny. 